YouTube. First off, I want to say I'm sick. <coughs> it's been a tough couple of days. I've been out of the gym for two days. This is the most. This is the most I've been out of the gym in like forever. But anyways, I want to talk about this fucking gym, yo. This gym. It's not the first time this has happened to me. This has been. Well, let me let me talk about the last time it happened. Right, let me talk about the first time it happened to me. The first time it happened to me, I'm not going to say the name, but it was from another YouTuber that freaking, I went, went to his gym and, you know, I want to film there, let people know I filmed there, and dude was charging $600 just to film at the gym, and I was like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? You only pay $600 to film at your gym, just like a little camera, you know. Like this one right here with myself. It was just me and my girlfriend. She would be from. I was like, that's crazy. So this, all right. So you know that's that. But I don't understand. I don't understand why you you know charge somebody to film at your gym. Maybe like a a little small fee or whatever. But not no freaking. Not nothing past no damn hundred. You know, not six hundred dollars, man. Come on, man. You know. But anyway, I mean, I understand you trying to make your money and that's how you do business. But like, that's like. When other YouTubers go there to try to film at your gym, they're going to feel stupid because don't nobody want to pay $600 just to film at a gym. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. I don't care how rich or whatever I was. I mean, I wasn't trying. Like I said, I'm not trying to knock nobody hustle, but that's just like, I think that's really unreasonable, you know, and, and kind of unfair and, and kind of a, a downer for other YouTubers trying to, um, trying to, to you know, to let people know that you know they're traveling around and you you know trying out different gyms and yet you know to work out at this gym and film it you know with small little cameras there's no film crew or nothing this is not a pro professional production it's just and, and you want me to you know pay you six hundred dollars for that that's, that's that's crazy but it, even more crazier so this new gym I've been going to right on my last video I was talking about it a lot of you asked you know what gym um, I'm not gonna throw you know names out there or whatever, um, but gym that's mad close to the house. I just found out about it. Mad close to the house, like right down the street. I, I went there. I thought, yo, this is the perfect gym. Great lighting, blah blah blah. It was good. So I filmed there for like two two days or whatever, two or three days, and then I asked, hey, you know, if they want to do some deal together, you know, or like promote promotion deal, you know, because. And somebody like me, I mean, you could always ask and possibly work some promotion deal out for membership or whatever. I don't mind paying the membership, but hell, if I'm if some gyms, I, I buy a membership. Oh, excuse me. Some gyms I buy a membership, and then they'll see my promotion, and then they'll end up giving me a membership for free. So I just ask in the first place. And if not, then cool, I'll pay a membership. It's whatever. But um, it's nothing. Um, but so the gym, um, the owner calls me right. The owner calls me, right? Hey, you know, uh, you know, I know all about you and what you do, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, unfortunately, we don't do that type of thing in, in my gym. And, and and this was, I was, I was kind of shocked because the, the staff and everybody saw me filming. They were part of my, my video, whatever. Everybody was like, the first day, first couple of days there, I felt like really welcome. Like, this was really going to be okay. Like, oh, yeah, I finally found a gym that... You know, will allow me to do um, everything and film and, and be free with what I do just to be shut down and get this call from the owner and say all right well you know he, he was like yo we have muscle and fitness coming here and you know they'll pay they'll pay me to shoot there for a couple hours and I was like okay so if you want to shoot there it's gonna be like a thousand for four hours You gotta be joking me. A thousand bucks for four hours. Nigga, when I make muscle and fitness money, maybe so. But I don't. I'm a YouTuber, Instagram media, whatever. I don't even, I don't, I don't do nothing else. But I am damn for sure not making no muscle and fitness money. Bro, I wouldn't even pay a hundred dollars to shoot just for four hours. Like, are you kidding me? A thousand dollars for four hours. You're asking one one person with, with like I said, this is not professional production. It's just me, my boy Jeff, and a fucking camera. 
And you gonna charge me a thousand dollars? Like that's unheard, like that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. There are other gyms in the area better, but I have to travel longer too. That allow me to shoot there for free. You know, which I'm just gonna end up doing in the first place. There's that other gym that y'all saw me at, um, that y'all like, but I'm just probably gonna end up training there. I'm just gonna drive over there and train. But a thousand dollars to shoot at your gym, like, and people, you know, they don't, I guess they don't care about the exposure stuff because it was like, well, we don't know, you know, if you're bringing people in, blah, blah, blah. Well, you don't know if you're bringing people in from a fucking newspaper ad or a fucking radio ad, blah, blah, blah. You know, because people back in the day, that's what they used to do. They used to pay for like newspaper or radio, or whatever. Sometimes people come in for a newspaper or whatever. But a lot of times, you know, you're not really going to know. You pay for it in hope of... And you pay for it in hope of bringing people to your business. And it's not like I'm hurting anybody. I pay, I pay you monthly for membership and you just let me fucking film. Like what the fuck is the deal with that? Like what the fuck is up with these gyms and, and charging people or saying no to people when they just wanna fucking record them working out? Like I don't, nobody else is in my shit. I don't care about your fucking other people. Your, your other gym customers or whatever. I just care about me. I don't want nobody else in my film but me in the first place or my friends, right? And and they want to sit there and complain about these other fucking people like, oh, well, you know, we're going to have complaints. All right, you know, fucking let them complain though, whatever. I'm probably going to bring you more money in than these motherfuckers anyways. You got old people. What what what, what people are these old people going to bring in? Well, you know, I mean, come on, seriously. Like, are they going to bring you in any, any any new customers? Are they going to give you gym exposure? No. Like, come on now. I don't get that. Now, something about being, like, like, like ignorant with it, like, you know, filming people doing dumb stuff, and then they see it, and then they complain, that's a different story. But when it's just about me, and I'm just trying to go in, get my shit done, and go out, then leave me the fuck alone. Just leave me alone. You know, I even tried going to the gyms as soon as it opens up. Which apparently is probably the wrong thing because that's when all the old people go in. That's when all the complaints and stuff. Matter of fact, he was getting complaints. He was like, "Yeah, I was getting complaints um, in the morning saying you came in and you were filming." Mind you, that with I was I was taking shots. I was just taking photos, but I was asking people around if they minded, if they felt uncomfortable. I asked everybody that was around me if they felt uncomfortable with me doing what I was doing, and everybody was fine. They said, "Oh, you know, you're good." Whatever, right? And that, that's the second time I heard that. Yeah, I'm getting all these complaints, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, th I think it's fucking bullshit. I think it's fucking bullshit. You guys are full of shit. And I'm just, I'm just letting you know straight from my mouth, whatever. So basically, I pay for a month membership to this gym, which is $100, basically. Um, and I'm, I, I, I went there for three days, and I'm not even going back. Because I'm not. That's just like, that's bullshit. It really is. Um, pay you to promote you. I'm paying you to promote you and train at your gym and, and all this bullshit. Like, fuck these gyms. What, what Bradley Martin said, the fitness industry is fucked, man. <laughs> yo, but seriously, yo. Y'all gotta really think about, you know, priority, you know, gym owners and shit, man. I know when I open up my own gym, like I'm, a, I'm, 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 I want to welcome the crowd of of entrepreneurs, YouTubers. Um, you know, mind you, um, this is New York, so it might be crowded. <laughs> but it's, I think it's all a positive. Like, why would, why are you trying to squeeze out every fucking dime and penny out of everything you can? Like seriously, you know, I'm a fucking 24 year old. What? what I don't even think Christian Guzman would pay a, a grand to shoot at this motherfucking gym. And Christian Guzman makes fucking seven, seven, seven figures. So, like, who... Whatever. This is my rant, yo. I'm just talking and shit. But, yeah, man. Yeah.